In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get Ubuntu up and running on a Mac using the M1 processor. Things have got a lot easier recently because Parallels have released a technical preview of their software. So you can now very, very easily, simple installation with Parallels, simple installation with Ubuntu, get this up and running on a Mac. In the past, before Parallels released their software, you had to use QMU as the hypervisor to virtualize Ubuntu on your Mac. Process was very complicated, it's got a lot simpler. At the time of this recording, neither VMware or VirtualBox supports the Mac M1 chipset, so you can't use that software to virtualize Ubuntu on your Mac, but with Parallels, very, very simple. Now it's not perfect, some software doesn't work. So as an example, installing the Parallels tools doesn't work in my tests. Software that was written for a x86 architecture doesn't work. This requires ARM software. There is no translation software that takes x86 software and converts it to ARM on Linux at the moment. That is available on macOS, is available on Windows, but is not available on Linux. But it's still early days. Hopefully this stuff will be improved in the coming weeks and months, and more and more software will be supported on a Mac using the M1 chipset. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna show you the full process. I'm gonna show you how to download Parallels, show you how to install that, show you how to download the Ubuntu software and how to get it up and running on a Mac. Process is actually very, very simple. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so there's at least two things that you need. You need to download the Parallels software and then you need to download an ISO from the Ubuntu website. I've put all the links below this video so you can just refer to the links to download the software. So rather than trying to follow in the video, just use the download links. Okay, first thing we need is the Parallels desktop software for the M1 chip. If you haven't got an account, create an account. If you've got an account, click Try Technical Preview, log in, and then click Download to download the software. Software is now downloading, it's about 300 meg in size. Once again, the activation key is here, so make sure that you keep that page open or copy that so that you've got that. Next thing you need to do is download an Ubuntu version. Make sure that you download the ARM version. So in this example, I'm gonna download Ubuntu 20.04.1 LTS for ARM, and I'm gonna download 21.04 for ARM. If you download the AMD64 version as an example, it won't work. I'll show you that in a moment. So once Parallels has downloaded, double click on the DMG file, and then you can double click to install the software. We asked, do we wanna install the software because it was downloaded from the internet? Yes, we do, so I'm gonna click open. As you can see, the software is now being installed. You need to agree to the software license. So if you agree to it, then click accept. You'll need to put in your administrator username and password. And then you need to give Parallels permissions to access various folders. So you need to give it access to your desktop. You need to give it access to your documents and give it access to the downloads folder. And once you've done that, you can click Finish. Parallels is starting up. And now you can add virtual machines. Now we warned that existing virtual machines created on Intel-based computers cannot work on Macs with the M1 chip. And we also told that it's not possible to create a new virtual machine using an Intel-based operating system installer. What I'll show you now is what happens when you try and import an Intel x86 based installer. And then I'll show you the correct process with an ARM installer. First thing, click continue. I'm going to manually look for files. We told that we can drag a VHDX, which is basically a virtual machine or an ISO image to the file, but I'm gonna click select file. I'm gonna to go to downloads and I'm gonna select all files. And in this example, once again, I'm gonna select AMD to show you what happens when you select the wrong architecture. So select AMD64. 
It recognizes that as Ubuntu Linux, but notice the selected image cannot be used because your Mac is equipped with an Apple M1 chip that doesn't support Intel-based operating systems. So once again, you need to select the right ISO. Click OK. I'm gonna go back, click Continue, choose manually, and in this example, I'll select ARM64 and click Open. It's recognized that as Ubuntu Linux. Click Continue. I'll say this is 2004. You can customize your settings before installation if you like. Click Create. And notice here, you can specify the amount of processes that you wanna use. Two is the recommended default, amount of memory. I'll leave those at default. One thing I do wanna change is I wanna change this to use Wi-Fi so that it gets an IP address in my local subnet so that I can connect to that virtual machine directly. I don't want it to be natted to the local area network. I wanna be able to connect directly to the virtual machine. So as an example, SSH or VNC or RDP to the virtual machine. You can change the MAC address if you want to, but that looks okay. So I'm gonna close that and click continue. And notice we can either try Ubuntu without installing or install it. I'll go for a installation of Ubuntu. You can see the installation wizard now displays and the installation of Ubuntu would be as per normal. So while I'm waiting for that, I'm gonna create a new virtual machine and I'll manually select the, the 2104 Ubuntu operating system. Click Open, click Continue. And once again, I'm gonna customize my settings. This is Ubuntu Linux 2104. I want to set this up to use a bridged network in other words, bridge it to the Wi-Fi network rather than using NAT. So again, I wanna be able to connect directly to the virtual machine. CPU and memory looks fine, graphics looks fine, everything else I'm just gonna leave at default and I'm gonna click continue. And as you can see now, I can start Ubuntu 2104. So now you can simply go through your standard Ubuntu installation I'm gonna go for a basic normal installation of 2004 here and install it. I'll set the normal basic settings. Here I'll specify my name is David, computer name will be Ubuntu 2004 M1, specify a password, set it to automatically log in and click continue. The installation will now continue and hopefully once it's finished, I'll have Ubuntu 2004 running on this Mac with an M1 processor. Again, just to show you that about this Mac, this is a Apple M1 Mac. Okay, so on 2104, you can see it's booted and I could actually use it as it is at the moment but what I wanna do is install it rather than run it live. So I'm gonna specify English, US English in this example, go for a normal installation. I won't download updates while installing Ubuntu. Click install now, click continue. London is my time zone. My name is David. I'll say this is Ubuntu 2104M1 specify my password. I'll set it to automatically log in and click continue. And again, Ubuntu will now install 2104. So I'm currently installing 2004, it's actually just finished, and 2104 on this Mac at the same time. So I'm gonna click restart now to restart the virtual machine. Now I have had this problem with 2004 
where it says failing unmounting CD-ROM. If you actually look at the settings, it did disconnect the CD or ISO in this case. So I'm just gonna press enter to reboot Ubuntu 20.04. And as you can see there, it's busy rebooting. So the performance is okay. I'm installing two virtual machines at the same time here, working without any problems. So 20.04 has started. I'm gonna skip the connecting to online accounts. I'm not gonna send information to Canonical. Click next, click next, click done. And there you go. I'll start a terminal. I have now got Ubuntu 20.04 running on this virtual machine. I'll make this a bit bigger. So that's the IP address from this Mac. I'll ping that IP address, so ping 192.168.1.17. I can ping the Ubuntu virtual machine running on the Mac next to me. So let's type cat etsy OS release. You can see 20.04 is installed here sudo apt update, update my references. So that's up to date. I can ping google.com as an example, and I should be able to connect to the internet from this virtual machine. So let's go to ubuntu.com. And there you go. Okay, so the 2104 installation has completed. I'll click restart now. That's also rebooting. And similar to 2004, I had a problem on this one with the reboot where it just goes blank. And that could be once again, that it's not disconnecting the CD or DVD and rebooting. So at this point, I found that it hangs. So all I'm gonna do is shut this down I'll go to my control center and I'll start this up again now I have tried to get Kali Linux running within parallels had a lot of problems didn't get it to work but the Ubuntu installation is very very simple I'll also create a Kali or Kali Linux installation video later uh, once I can get it working but Ubuntu 20.04, 21.04 works without any problems. I'll skip this. I won't send the information to Canonical. Click next, click done. Open up a terminal. Cat Etsy OS release. You can see the version is 21.04. Okay, so there you go. I've shown you how to get both Ubuntu 20.04 as well as 21.04 up and running on a MacBook using the M1 processor. Because Parallels has now been released, this process is a lot simpler than it was in the past. Not very difficult to get this working, whereas in the past you had to use QMU as an example to virtualize this. Parallels has made this much easier. VMware don't have software that works on the Mac at the moment and neither does VirtualBox, but hopefully they'll update their software and then you'll have those as options to run the software on your Mac. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell to get notifications. I'm David Bombal, wanna wish you all the very best. Mm -hmm.